How's it going everyone? It's Sam. My row is going absolutely nuts. It's up 51% in the last day, up 150% in the last week. I want to talk about why it's going so nuts and maybe how much you would need to retire. And if you think that's crazy to retire on a meme coin, I'm going to walk you through it a bit. I'm going to give some disclaimers and then you can make your own decision. Now, there's a good reason, I think, why some of these meme coins are pumping up. Um, I want to hit on all that, but if you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one. While you're down there, there is a link to Margex where you can trade cryptocurrency. You can set up the account in just a few minutes. Literally, there's no KYC, which means they don't ask you a lot of personal information. Uh, you just put in your email, a password, check their terms and conditions, and then you can start depositing. I really like this platform. It's really nice to use. And you can also request, request cryptos. Like we got Caspa added here within two weeks of me suggesting it. Uh, all you have to do is sign up, deposit, start trading a little bit so that they know that you're a valuable customer. And then you can request cryptos. And if enough people tell me to and I see the comments, I will bring it to their attention. There just has to be enough volume and make sure that there's enough interest in the crypto for them to add it. So if you want Myra added, Go check out Margex. There's also a link down there to HG Access. This is a crypto community that I started with a bunch of other influencers where we talk about things that we're seeing in the market. And we we did get a 10x on Miro from the first time that Tyler posted about it. It is up literally 10x. We also were in a different meme coin that went up 10x just a few weeks ago. I'll be honest, I didn't buy Miro, uh, but I did get in on that other 10xer. So. Let's take a look at crypto recently. Just the last few days have been kind of nuts. Uh, Franklin Templeton just yesterday said, in crypto, speculation is a feature, not a bug. Franklin Templeton is a $1.5 trillion asset manager, and they're talking about how speculation is normal in crypto. They also said, on Solana, we see Anatoly's vision of a single atomic state machine. Let's just go further down. They say that, they were impressed by meme coins in Q4 2023. Interesting. They also um, probably are saying some of this because of some of the recent news with Avalanche. Avalanche Foundation to purchase meme coins as part of culture drive. They said these coins are often inspired by internet culture and humor going beyond mere utility assets. It is interesting when you think like how popular some memes have become. Think about some of the ones like in the game, what do you mean? Like some of the really popular memes that you have maybe no idea where it came from, but you might use on your phone or other people send you. You basically, if you create a crypto, you can basically monetize that meme. Just like, you know, just like we monetize the internet by buying Ethereum. Things are built on Ethereum. It's kind of like the new decentralized internet. You can monetize memes, which is interesting. And I think people are starting to wrap their head around it. Avalanche, for example, has put aside, I think it's right around $100 million to buy meme coins. They're literally a L1, one of the top L1s that is literally going to buy meme coins. And recently we've seen certain cryptocurrencies like Miro explode. It hit 25 cents earlier today. And over the last seven days, it's up 150%. Over the last month, up 730%. And it's still relatively small. Now, I usually talk about just Bitcoin on this channel, but I think there is a change, and I've said this uh, recently. <clears throat> I think there is a change in the market where maybe people that have been around, uh, with, the, with the exception of pure Bitcoiners, people that have been around the block maybe thought meme coins were crap last market, but now they're starting to come around to the fact that it's just a calculated bet. So you might invest in one that does nothing, you might invest in one that goes up a little bit. You might invest in one that crashes, but you also might get a 10x return in one month. Miro is an example of that. Dog with hat, or dog with hat, is even bigger than Miro. And let's look at the last month on this one. So the last month is up 150%. Honestly, I didn't realize how big it was before this month, um, but it is massive. It's $430 million. So uh, this has now become one of the largest meme, co meme coins in the space. And as more meme coins come out that do well, more teams that are actually really 
good at what they do are going to make meme coins because they can make a lot of money from it, right? The, the teams behind this try to make a lot of money, right? So they're making a lot of money. Uh, it brings more and more success, which brings more and more people in to make more meme coins and more people want to buy meme coins. So it's kind of this this cycle where we get more and more excitement over memes. And we saw this a little bit with Pepe during the bear market. But I think part of the reason Pepe did so well uh, is because there was really nothing else going on. When you think about where we were in the market cycle, uh, we had started to move up on Bitcoin, but it was kind of boring. We didn't have an ETF approval. We didn't have the Bitcoin having right around the corner. So we had meme coins. We had Pepe specifically move up, and then we had a bunch of memes after that. But now we're seeing five, ten different meme coins that are doing really well. I mean, if you just look at the top meme coins in the last 90 days, Dogecoin up 33%, Shiba up 35%, Bonk up 6,800%, Pepe up 80%, Dog with Hat up 155%. Like all of these have done so well. Um, Myro up 5,500%. This is a $20 billion market cap now. So this continues to grow. I think it, it would make sense for this continue to continue through the next bull market, whether it's the same cryptocurrencies on this list. I mean, of course, like Pepe, Shiba, and Dogecoin have been around for about a year. Um, Pepe, or uh, Dogecoin and Shiba have been around for multi-years as some of the top cryptocurrencies. But we have some new cryptocurrencies coming up right now. Now, how much would you need to retire? I, I like to do this with different cryptocurrencies to give you an idea for how large the market cap is now. What's a realistic expectation for what it would take to retire or to get to a million dollars or even a hundred thousand dollars? I do different scenarios. But today we're going to look at a million dollars and that's not probably enough to retire, at least depending on where you're at, if you're in Europe or if you're in the US. But it probably gets you pretty far on your way. The The other weird thing about this is usually I do it with top coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe Solana, that kind of stuff. Meme coins are different because meme coins can move a lot faster. They can also die a lot faster. So like the chances that Bitcoin moves up two or three X are probably much higher than any meme coins going up five or 10 X. And there will be meme coins that move up 5 or 10x, but there's a very good chance that Bitcoin moves up 2x, right? There is a decent chance these meme coins will too, but there's also a decent chance that they'll die off or that some new meme coin will come and then pull all the all the money out uh, or just let these kind of simmer here. And I realize that's going to piss some people off, but there's just extra risk. You don't know for sure if Myro is going to go up like you do Bitcoin. It's just not as steady. It could be more explosive for sure, but it also could just be, uh, it could be the flashy thing right now. And then we could see a pullback and then people move on a little bit to the next thing. I mean, even like Pepe did that a little bit. It hasn't really moved up that much since it pumped up almost a year ago. So Myro though, let's take a look right now. It's at a little bit over 22 cents, depending on when you're looking at. That's a market cap of $210 million. So I wanted to compare it to a top 100 coin, top 20 coin, top 10 coin, top meme coin, top meme coin at the peak of the last market. And then look at how much you would need to invest if Myro hits these different numbers. So if it hits a top 100 coin, it's not a top 100 right now. Um, the market cap would be $643 million. The price will go up to 67 cents. And we'll, again, we'll look at how much you'd need to invest in a moment. But if it went into a top 20 coin, which would be significant, I think that would put it top top three on meme coins. Uh, it would get up to almost a $5 price, which is crazy. I mean, think about that. That's like a 5x and then another 5x. It would be like a 25x, 23x, something like that. A $4.7 billion market cap. Uh, and then if it went up even higher, and you can kind of pick your level of bullishness towards this. I think there's a big gap between 100 and top 20. I probably should have done like top 60 maybe in there as well. But you can kind of just run those numbers yourselves. If, for example, you're looking at top 60, it might be around $2 billion or something like that. So it would be about a 10x from here. Dogecoin though, top 10 it would put it right around $12. That's kind of nuts too, right? That's a 50X from here. So actually, yeah, right around a 50X. 
then top meme coin is also Dogecoin right now. Uh, this wasn't the case last time I did this with a different meme coin, but now Dogecoin is number 10. So then top meme coin at the peak. Bitcoin uh, obviously did really well last cycle, but there are other altcoins that did well as well, like Dogecoin. Dogecoin was the top meme coin at the peak. At about 70 cents, it hit a market cap of over $100 billion, which is $107 if it if Miro hit that same market cap, that is a 500x from here. Crazy, crazy to think about how that could happen. Um, but that did happen for some Dogecoin holders last cycle if they were able to get in early enough. And then uh, if you want to invest for $1 million, obviously if Miro just stays at current market cap, you need a $1 million. If it hit Oshkosh Networks market cap, you need about 326,000 Bitcoin Cash, 44,000 Dogecoin, 18,400. And if it hit Dogecoin's max market cap, you need about $2,052. Now, what if you got in a week ago? Like, it's great we're talking about Miro now, but generally, when you invest in these, if you're expecting a 10x, a 20x, a 50x, you want to get in sub $100 million market cap. And even then, that's probably not going to produce you a 50x on a lot of meme coins. Like, how many meme coins do you know that hit $5 billion? Two, I think. It's only been two. So you want to get in early. Let's just say you didn't get in super early, but you got in a week ago. Well, Miro has moved up about 150% since then. So if you had 376 k one week ago in Miro, you'd now be a millionaire. If you had 123,000 in Miro a week ago, and then it gets up to Oshkosh Network's size, you'd only need 123,000 to get a million dollars. Same thing with Bitcoin Cash. If you gotten in a week ago and it gets up to Bitcoin Cash's size, you need about $17,000. And then you can go down the line all the way to if you got in a week ago and you bought it, it goes all the way up to Dogecoin's previous high, you'd have about $773 uh, that you'd need to hit millionaire status. Now, I'm not saying all these are likely at all. Um, even it's interesting because Dogecoin, maybe it hits the previous all-time high. I would not be surprised because if Bitcoin goes in three or four Xs, a lot of alts are probably going to do five, six, seven, eight X. But we did have a lot of excitement with Dogecoin around the SNL skit. There was a lot of emphasis on Dogecoin at that time. And I'm not sure we get that again, like that same level of excitement. And that was the first time I feel like there's a lot of mainstream people, maybe not mainstream people, but like new crypto people that were buying meme coins or buying cryptos in general because the last cycle was so big and so many people came in for the first time. I still think a lot of people will come in this time. But I do think it will be different. It will be a lot of crypto natives that have been around through the bear market. There will be new people as well. But then you also have a lot of maybe retirees or people that are going to be investing for the long term that are going to be buying things probably through ETFs without even knowing it. It's going to be in their retirement account. So they're going to flood money into Bitcoin and flood money into Ethereum. And then, of course, you're going to have people that have native Bitcoin and native Ethereum and then want to sell that and then go invest in some smaller caps too. But... There's a lot of money that comes in to make a $102 billion market cap. So I would just be careful of thinking you can put in like $2,000 and become a millionaire in any cryptocurrency. But, you know, that's what we're going for. That's what we're hoping for. And I hope you get that. I hope you get that juicy 500x during this next bull run. I will say, make sure you're diversified. Like if you have $2,000 to your name, probably not the best idea to throw it all in on one meme coin. But you probably already know that. Now, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Check out the link underneath the video to Marjax in case you want to trade cryptocurrency and check out the link underneath the video to HG Access. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.